I advise you to keep at least two meters away from me, for your own good. And of course, you shouldn't speak to me either. I don't want you to be the next victim of what's after me. You've read my file. Terrible, isn't it? If I'm allowed to stay by your side, the same misfortune will befall you. And that's trouble for me, too. My long hair looks good. Oh. Well, thank you. Would you like to feel it? It should have a soft touch. I'm confident of that. Could that be... The one over there. You guys call her Spectre now, right? Why is she dressed as a nun? Amnesia? That's a problem. Doctor. You have to help her. She can't be allowed to forget her true function. Ah. <sighs> you just don't know when to give up, do you? I suppose I have no choice but to defend you with all my might. Down beneath the vast blue sea, below the white waves that lap endlessly at the earth, lies all that I once held dear. I fear that one day, Misfortune will once again take away someone important from me. That is why I fled. I don't want anyone I care about to suffer on my account. Good. Another easy day. No giant tentacles coiling up my teammates. No fanatics lurking in the shadows with their hands coated in blood. Yes, just some straight fights on the battlefield. An easy day for me. According to legend, my people have fought against those calamities for eons. Perhaps we kept them from making landfall and terrorizing you city folk as well. So, how about buying me a drink? As a thank you. When you finally made the long journey through the dark up to the water surface, your eyes dazzled by the sparkling stars all over the sky, your cheeks soothed by the cradling waves. Your tears seep into your mouth. They have the same salty taste of your home. Compared to all that, the bathtub at Rhodes Island is so tiny and puny. I'll have to show you my home someday. Doctor, you fell asleep. Rest well then. And may you never see your dream eroded by sea waves. I am Scotty, a bounty hunter. Are you really hiring me? I cannot say what calamities I may bring with me. So, this is how you fight. Rush in with a whoosh, knock them down with a pow, and finish them with a thud. Very good. I'll keep it in mind. So this is the promotion you Rhodes Island folks are always going on about? Not bad. Feels like I've become stronger. Just by a bit, maybe. Your thirst for my power really troubles me. But if nothing can really stop you, then brace yourself. For the infinite darkness we will stand against together. I am quite skilled at teamwork, but you're placing everyone's life in my hands? <sighs> it's hardly a sport when all the enemies are human. Compared to the calamities I fought against, you are barely a threat. By your command, I'm used to fighting alone. Let's share a dance. Better safe than sorry. Who knows what lurks within the kelp forest? This sword has a terrifying past. Care to find out? 
Sing me a song, my torturous nightmare. Don't blink, for you may miss the misery of your death. We survived somehow. The words and thoughts of our enemies mean nothing to me. All I care about is how to defeat them. Feeling a little... rusty? Hope you won't mind having part of your share taken away. Such simple misfortunes are only the beginning. Put me in a room by myself, please. Oops, my hat. Y you should watch your distance. I really can't guarantee your safety this close. Never let down your guard, Doctor. Arknights. As I am now, will my presence inconvenience you? Will I remind you of past miseries? I long for being with you. When the time comes, we will leave this place together, okay? You thought we could not survive if away from the sea? A myth it is. My kin and I will soon be able to swim through the air. In the end, even those places devoid of anything will be our ocean. We simply need to evolve, and we only need to adapt. My former friends tried to grant me my eternal rest with their hands. They refused to confront their true selves. But I do not resent them, and I could not hurt them, even if they rejected and attacked me so vehemently. Perhaps everything I did was bringing them harm. My regrets died along with them. This box? My past lies within it. The fragments of my past. Fractured as they are, they still suffice to tell that I am not an empty puppet. That I am not a phantom. Gradually, I was reborn into what I am now, bit by bit. Doctor, was a future like this also in your past vision? You may have nothing but hatred for me now. But I do not fear it. Hate me as your heart desires. While you are still able to. Your companions, Keltset and Amia, said that you are worthy of my trust until the very end. But one can never save the others. I failed to save my friends, and you failed to save yours. We both have lost everything. But I was granted a rebirth. And following that, a new future. This is just unfair to you. Long ago, my family was murdered when I was still an acre. I always assumed the sea monsters did it. But I never expected to learn that it was all the handiwork of the acre. My blood kin and my songs are scary, they all say. But they are wrong. It is the people who are scary. I did struggle. I did resist. But to what avail? When the tide rises, no traces of lesser life forms will remain undrowned. You are my very last friend. Will you also be like them? Rejecting the ocean for a futile end?
even if it costs you everything. Do you wish to be what I used to be? Am I sick? Or am I still dreaming? I dreamt that the black sky was our ocean. When the others and I swam up, we did not feel ourselves sinking at all. Strange. So strange. Is this our future? Their faces are so blurry. They... They... No. No. Dream. What kind of dream will you have? Where are you now? Will you find it there? Just another dream? Doctor, I have been waiting for you. It's been so long, far too long that... I have forgotten why I am waiting for you here. But none of this is important anymore. It's not that important anymore. These things... I have seen them too many times. Nobody needs things like these anymore. Formalities of the past. What good are they now? Nothing has survived. Except you and me. We will cast those aside. And all we need is to be a step closer. Join me, Doctor. And be my blood kin. Nevermore shall my eroded sword cleave. Nevermore shall my former friends breathe. And nevermore shall I feel the warm blood flow inside me. Still, I am satisfied. I have become one with the ocean. Doctor, come with me. Your true form is still waiting for you beneath the waves. Fight alongside the others? Against whom? No more lives should be lost. What will it feel like when their arms penetrate this body? Treat me not as a calamity, for death is not my wish. What do you wish to do? I shall obey. No longer do I walk alone. My blood kin are with me. Now, hearken to the song of the distant sea. Rest at ease. The tide also rises. The sky and the land both a drought to relieve. May the song seep into your souls. With me, to our eternal home we will return. Fear not, my kin, the time is nigh. They will become our blood kin. They no longer need to feel the suffering of aridity. Their prior existence was already too painful. Will you treat me the same way? Is this also the ending you designed for me? If that is what you wished for, I will not deny it. Why must you flee? This futile struggle will only bring about more senseless terror. Run! Run away. From here. From me. Leave. Sooner or later, this place too will return to its primordial form. Why am I still wearing this hat? We fail to protect everything. The harmonious future is our only hope. 
doctor. Come with me. Arknights.